Hello YouTube, thank you guys for clicking by today. My name is Justin and today I've got a brief little video tutorial on how to fix audio desynchronization in Adobe Premiere Pro when filming with your smartphone. So before I get started, brief little story time. Last week I started my YouTube channel and I noticed that when I was filming with my Google Pixel 4 XL that everything was just fine in terms of audio synchronization when viewing it from my phone, but as soon as I imported the footage into Adobe Premiere Pro, there was some serious desynchronization issues going on. They weren't even consistent desynchronization issues either. I'm talking like 10 minutes into the clip, you have a five second delay on the audio, and then 30 seconds into the clip, you have a 15 second delay in the audio. So because of the inconsistency, you can't just unlink the video and audio channels and adjust them manually. So I found a quick fix, well, not really a quick fix, but a simple fix to get your footage to match the audio before you upload it into Adobe Premiere Pro. So today I'll be showing you guys how to do that with a program called Handbrake. It's a free program, it's relatively easy to use, and I'll put a link in the description so you guys can download it and fix your footage. Let's go ahead and jump over to the PC and I'll show you guys how that works. All right, so we've got Premiere Pro pulled up here. I got a 12 second segment I want you to listen to just so you can see what I'm referring to by audio desynchronization. Let's go ahead and give that a play. But today I've finally changed the pace, I've broken the cycle, and I quit my job. I did the thing I've been threatening to do in my head every single day. I finally did it. Finally did it. So as you can see, the audio in this clip is not going to work for us, and as far as I can tell, there's no way to fix that issue within Premiere Pro. One of the signs that you have a audio desynchronization issue, in case you can't visibly tell, is by right-clicking on your clip, going up to Properties, and down here at the bottom, it will say Variable Frame Rate Detected, so that's a no-go. So, the best way to fix this that I've found is by downloading a program called Handbrake. So the Handbrake link will be in the description, but once you get to the site, you can either click this red download button right here if you're on Windows, or you can go to the top, click Downloads, and pick whichever version suits you best. So, once you have that downloaded, you want to open it up, and open the file that is problematic. So it's going to be this one right here for me. We'll hit open, and it'll do a little scan to make sure nothing um, fishy is going on. And then once that pulls up, we want to go to Preset, and you want to try to find the one up under General or Web that suits you best. In my case, I recorded at 4K 30 frames. So what suited me best was to go to Web, and then go down to Vimeo YouTube HQ in 4K. Now you might notice that's a 4K at 60 frames, and mine is shot at 4K in 30 frames. Well, we'll click on that anyways because it's the closest preset we can find. And then we'll go to the video tab, and right here where it says frame rate, we'll go ahead and correct that. And as far as I know, everything else should be good to go using the preset. And so now, all we'll have to do is make sure our save as directory is correct. So it's going to save that to my uh, look with a C videos file, which is fine with me. And then you'll just hit start encode. Now this process, at least in 4K, takes a pretty good bit of time to render everything up. So you might have to go make yourself some lunch or, you know, find something to do to fill the time. If it ends up taking hours for yours, you can have it turn your computer off when it's complete by selecting down here in the bottom. Whatever floats your boat. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Once it's done, it'll let you know down here in the bottom and then you'll be able to find your file at the specified directory. And then you should be good to go to upload it into Premiere Pro and start editing. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. If you found this tutorial helpful, go ahead and leave me a like and maybe leave me a subscription and I will catch you guys next time. Y'all take care.